this question gives me a signal in the time domain and asks me for various things about the signal in the frequency domain. So we can use our Fourier pair, as these two look very similar, except one is a function of time, one is a function of frequency. So we can interchange time and frequency. We're allowed to do that using duality or symmetry. So I can rewrite that as 2a, let me change the color, I can rewrite that as 2a over a squared plus t squared, and the corresponding spectrum would be e to the minus a absolute value of omega. So all we've done is we've changed time and frequency. We're allowed to do that. The only thing we need to remember is to insert a factor of 2 pi and then a little minus sign there that is lost with the absolute value in this question. So now these two look very similar, except we need a 1 in the numerator. So we can achieve that easily by dividing by 2a. And now these are identical. So if this is x of t, this will be x of omega. So I can say my answer, x of omega, is pi over a e to the minus a omega. And how did we achieve that? We used the duality property. So that was using duality. Next, they're asking for sketches in the time and frequency domains. So what we're after is x of t and x of omega. So just a very simple sketch in the frequency domain and in the time domain. So x of t is 1 over t squared plus a squared, so it's 1 over a quadratic, so it would have a smooth top, and it would approach 0 with increasing time. And this maximum value would we just replace 0 instead of time. So it would be 1 over 0 squared plus a squared. Be 1 over a squared. And x of omega is this expression here. And that's a double-sided exponential. So we just draw that approaching 0 in both directions. And again, you would put a 0 in there to find the value at omega equals 0. So e to the power 0 is 1. You'd have pi over a as this maximum value. And that's enough for sketching the signal. No, no need for more detail than that. OK, now. Finding the energy of the signal, a little bit more work is involved. So, Parseval's theorem states that we can find the energy either in the time domain or in the frequency domain. So, I could integrate from minus infinity to infinity x squared of t dt, but this is x of t. So, x squared will will be much um, harder to integrate than the exponential here of x of omega. So using Parseval's theorem, we can actually choose whether to integrate in time or frequency. And I choose to integrate in frequency. So it's the magnitude of x of omega squared d omega. So we simply replace that with our function. So 
ax equals 1 over 2 pi, the integral from minus infinity to infinity. I'm going to move this out of the way, don't need it. Pi over a, e to the minus a omega squared d omega. So this is where we start. The next step is to square that. That's straightforward. So it's 1 over 2 pi. Well, actually, before squaring it, we'd need to separate it out. So we'd need to integrate from minus infinity to 0 and then from 0 to infinity because we have this absolute value. So we'd have pi over a e to the minus a minus omega squared d omega plus pi over a e to the minus a omega squared d omega. So that gives, and I have 1 over 2 pi, of course. So 1 over 2 pi, the integral from minus infinity to 0, pi squared, a squared, e to the minus will be plus 2 a omega. d omega plus 1 over 2 pi integral from 0 to pi pi squared over a squared e to the minus 2 a omega d omega so we're almost there now we simply need to do the integration get rid of these pi's Do that integration. So let's get the constants out of the way. So pi over 2a squared times 1 over 2a times e to the 2a omega from minus infinity to 0 plus pi over 2a squared times 1 over minus 2a times e to the 2a omega from 0 to infinity. So that gives me pi over 2a over 4 a cubed into e to the power 0 is 1, so that's 1, e to the power minus infinity is 0, and we have another plus, so it will be minus, minus, so plus 1. So we end up with pi over 2a cubed. So that's my final expression for the energy. And I, I found this energy in the frequency domain. Next is asking for the 99% containment bandwidth. So it's asking what bandwidth will contain 99% of the signal energy. So if we look at our double-sided exponential like this, the 
the question is, what is this bandwidth? What's this value of omega for which the signal will have 99% of the energy inside that bandwidth from minus omega to omega? The question is now asking for the 99% containment bandwidth. That is, what value for omega, uppercase omega, will contain 99% of the energy. So using Parseval's theorem, we do exactly the same. We simply need to carry out the same integration, but this time, instead of integrating from minus infinity to infinity, we're integrating from minus uppercase omega to omega, because the value we're trying to find is the frequency omega. So at the 99% containment bandwidth, the answer to that will be omega. So what the question is asking for is the value of frequency. So we'd simply carry out the same integral. And rather than repeat the integration, we can simply use the same steps we used for part c. But instead of integrating from minus infinity to zero, the limits would be minus omega to zero and zero to positive omega. So now we simply substitute the limits and simplify. So that will give me pi over 4a cubed into 1 minus e to the minus 2a omega minus another one of the same, minus 2a omega minus minus plus 1. Now these 1's add up, and we can simplify, so that should give me pi over 2a cubed into 1 minus e to the minus 2a omega. So what have I just found? I've now found the energy contained within that range that we identified. So that's the energy, EX, or let's call it EX omega. So I've just found EX omega, and the ratio of EX omega divided by EX should be 99%. Or we can write it as 99 over 100. And the pi over 2a cubed factor is common between um, ex omega and ex. So the ratio is simply 1 minus e to the minus 2a omega. Now we simply need to solve for omega. And actually, I shouldn't have said omega. It's actually uppercase omega. And the same applies here. It's uppercase omega. And same here and same here. So, 99 over 100 is 0 0.01. And if you subtract that from... Sorry, 99 over 100 subtracted from 1, one is 0 0.01. And that's equal to e to the minus 2a omega. So, omega is the natural log of 0 0.01 divided by minus 2a. And that I can calculate using a calculator. So that's So it's 2.3 over a 
radian per second. And that is my final answer, unless I want to find the answer in Hertz, in which case I would divide by 2 pi, and that would give me 0 0.37 over A Hertz. And either answer is perfectly acceptable, depending on what you're asked for in the question. So the question is asking for the 99% containment bandwidth or the effective bandwidth, you can um, offer either of these two answers.